Okay, so I'm starting to make a, another nest, a squirrel nest. The bunk, a little bit smaller this time. I have oak branches, I still have the, the little uh, tiny branches on it. I place it in a five gallon bucket. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tie all the top and I'm gonna use a, a rope for starters. And um, so I put a little loop on here that I need to get around. The more little twigs and stuff to hold us together is the best, so. That's pretty good. So I'm going to tie this off and I'll go on to the next. Okay, so here's my rope and I got some wire here and I'm reinforcing um, where I tied this rope off and I'm going to wrap this wire around it also just to be on the safe side because rope breaks down pretty easily so I like to just make sure it's nice and secure but it's up to you. Um, make sure you have a pair of these too. It helps. <laughs> so I'm going to trim my ends um, but you know you don't have to. It probably looks better. Okay so this is it trimmed. We'll be working our way inside here so um, cover along. Okay. Now the trick is to attach these two together so there's a few ways you can do that i myself i'm gonna try i'm gonna attempt voila it's finished i wow. continue to bend this around this my wire to secure And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this twine all around it. As you can see, I put the uh, twine all around where the, the branch wrapped around to the next one. Put the mesh fencing on the top like this. This is a much better, you know, I've got all the wires tucked away so they're not gonna injure anybody. They won't get, you know, cut their eye or... So, um, you know, I just, I tuck it all around and once I get it all tucked, then I'll wire it in certain places that I feel that it needs some reinforcement. And then I would put my Timothy hay down. Like I said, it's going to protect them from falling through. But instead of using the Timothy hay, I just wanted to throw out there that you can use branches too for the floor. I've done that before and it works out very well. Use one of these, put the Timothy hay down, and then you can use this to secure the mat. So you still need these pieces. So, um, okay, so hopefully that explains the ring. Okay, so I got my uh, Sita, the round, which goes on the inside and all of these pieces are wired to it. Okay, so right now I'm in the middle of making the second ring that's gonna go right up here. I'm wrapping it in twine because I don't wanna use wire because it's um, too close. That might get too bunk. I'm gonna wire this in, so I will show the next step after that. Okay, so I got the top in place, tied off. I got some screws in there, which I'll make sure that I wrap anything sticking out um, in woodbine. This is gonna be rope also, so. Um, and then I've got my second ring in, which I also screwed to it. So now I am officially ready to wrap it. I started wrapping the wood vine and I was like, hmm, you know what? I think, um, I think I want to add a top to that. This way he can go in here and then he can climb down into there. So, um, yeah, here's my wood vine. It's uh, wiry and it's tough to work with, but it holds up very, very well. It works good. Uh, as you can see, this is really, really tight. So, okay, so I got the nest all wrapped and I put the rope down the bottom to hide the white rope. And then I'm just gonna put the rope on the top 
it's going to hang from here. So I'll put the rope up to like this high and then um, it'll be done. So all the wood vine. Yeah, it's all yours. You can eat it. You can sleep in it. <laughs>